Hi Aquarius, I hope you're doing well. So we'll be looking at whoever you're thinking about here for the rest of the year. About them right now, what brings you two together, outcome, advice, uh, that sort of thing. Um, so this person, let's look at the signs. We have moon, feelings, so cancer, a uh, little bit of Pisces, Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have a bit of um, everything. We have water, earth air and the wands the um, fire so yeah we do have all the elements in their chart but we have prominent virgo scorpio here and gemini so they're quite emotional um but i don't think they're showing it with that ten of swords let's talk about that so there is some pain they're internalizing this and uh, I don't know what it is. There perhaps a betrayal of some sort, some sort of ending. But they were feeling quite defeated, exhausted in their life. And um, I think they're trying to redirect their focus onto um, their money, their stability with that Queen of Pentacles. So if they felt um, a loss of the security or they were feeling unstable, they're regaining that power back. And I love this because whatever this hurt was with the Ten of Swords, um, they are um, rising up from that with the Ace of Wands. Um, they have the motivation and the energy to pick themselves up after whatever betrayal that was and move forward with enthusiasm. And they're, um, I wouldn't say they're completely healed, but they're getting there. They're working their way up. Also, with Moon paired right next to the Gemini, I'm, I'm getting a lot of moodiness um, for them for the month, ups and downs in their emotion. So you could have a tough time reading them. Um, if you're another minute, they may feel down again uh, with the Ten of Swords. A lot of that is their uh, mental chatter, so self-negative talk. That is a possibility, which is why um, their emotions are fluctuating so much. But for the most part, they are showing up as the Queen of Pentacles. So they're holding it together and they will um, move past whatever these challenges are. But most of their focus is on um, practical matters here. Business woman, business man. How they're viewing you, we have Ascendant, Outlook, Fifth House, Passion, The Lovers, The Chariot, King of Cups. So we have Strong Gemini, Cancer, Aries, and Leo for your energy um they see you as someone who's keeping it together um they find you highly attractive especially the way you look with ascendant lovers so they do love the way you look um there's passion here they have for you we did have ace of wands in their energy so there's no lack of physical attraction i don't see them acting upon it though for most of the energy i'm seeing in this spread is quite stagnant it's stuck right now but yes they see you moving forward in your life and perhaps you've also taken a step back i'm getting a bit of four of swords energy coming from you although it didn't show up so i'm seeing that you're also choosing to um take your energy back from the situation because i see they they may be a bit um withholding information it's a bit of a secretive vibe coming from them but you're doing well you're keeping your emotions under control. It may be tough at times because we do see the King of Cups. His throne is tilted, but his um, cup is upright. So he's holding it together. And paired with Chariot, that does talk about determination and control over your emotions. So, yeah, I see you're focused on yourself and your well-being. If there's any creative projects with the fifth house, this person could see you focused on that. Um, this doesn't have to be your energy, but this is how they're seeing you. Um, for how they're feeling about you, we have Eight of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Relieved, Peaceful. So there was some heartbreak over you in this situation, whatever is happening between you both. I'm almost getting that Ten of Swords, maybe, in regards to what what is happening between the both of you. I'm losing my voice. But they've come to terms with whatever is happening with the relieved 
uh, peaceful. So calm, serene, centered, eight of pentacles, king of pentacles, strong earth here. We had queen of pentacles in their energy and with the king of pentacles for how they're feeling about you. Um, they're trying not to think about you because it does bring forth some pain. Um, they're not completely healed over this. So again, eight of pentacles is practical matters. You two could work together. That is a possibility here as well with that strong Virgo sixth house showing up here. But yes, very much focused on their business, their money. I keep I, I, I feel they're um, really trying to heal by um, redirecting their focus on day-to-day -day matters. Something you're not seeing about this person. We have Chiron healing, Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Wands. So they're healing. And as I told you in, the, in their overall energy, the Ten of Swords, it's well hidden because Moon is internal um, usually. So I get that. I'm not sure if you're they're presenting a nine of pentacles exterior where they have it all together. They're highly independent, but um, beneath that, their emotions are going through a transformation. And I feel the best way for them to deal with um, um, the transformation they're going through is to um, try to um, grasp more practical matters. Perhaps that if it's an earth sign they find comfort in material wealth um, things that they can see whereas uh, if they're a water sign perhaps they'll have an easier time um, dealing with these emotions than if they were earth or fire but also it does depend on what other elements they have in their chart but again even if they are single i'm getting the highly independent energy with the nine of wands they're extremely guarded so i think um, if they're pushing you away, they're pushing others away as well. They have trust issues and yeah, I don't, I don't see them wanting a romance or love at this time. And even if they are in another connection, if this is a third party, um, I'm not seeing that strongly. But lovers, it's all they're seeing you could be that they're seeing that they have to make a decision in regards to you or you do. Um, that is a possibility. But even if they're in that relationship, they're still quite guarded within the relationship they're in. Um, they're not letting um, their guard down, highly protective. And that is also because of the internal changes, um, which is a strong message um, that is coming through this reading. Is They need a lot of time for healing and they have unresolved issues that you're not seeing. Or perhaps if you're quite intuitive yourself, you're picking up on it. What brings you both together? We have Virgo, the alchemist, third house, perception, Pluto, transformation. So Virgo paired with the Knight of Pentacles. We do have Ten of Cups, justice. This could be a marriage where your partner, because justice, Ten of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, quite grounded, stable energy. So if you're married to this person, you could see them pulling back their energy, um, perhaps focus more on work, but it's also because emotionally they're going through a lot but regardless, if you're uh, not married or whatever your situation is, Virgo, it could be a similar, you could have met at work, as I said earlier, but similar work ethic. You could find each other quite um, grounded, practical, safe with each other, that sort of energy. Um, yeah, and you find it easy to communicate with one another. Could be a strong uh, intellectual bond as well and also chemist physical chemistry with Pluto transformation um, I see physical attraction I see intellectual attraction and I also see emotional satisfaction with the ten of cups so it could be um, that this relationship also one thing that brings you two together is an equal give and take with justice things are fair um between you so you both would give um to this connection equally but right now i'm seeing a bit of a distance here but also another thing with pluto pluto can sometimes bring forth strong reactions in one another bit of an extreme planet so again with any scorpio energy can be strong passion but a lot 
potential for a strong love-hate connection as well. So it could be when things are great, they're amazing. Um, they're the best with the Ten of Cups, but um, just as Pluto, Scorpio, sometimes you both can be a bit resentful or revengeful towards one another. That is another possibility there. Um, something you're meant to learn from this connection. We have Knight of Wands, the world, Knight of Swords, and your blockage is momentum and opportunity. I'm getting, if you like things fast-paced and on your own terms, this is a bit of a, it really puts the brakes on your forward movement. And again, Knight of Pentacles is extremely slow moving its turtles pace so i think this connection is a lesson in this is that you can't control everything and there's um the best way to go about this is take each day as it comes so a bit of a lesson is mindfulness for you um not worrying too much about the past and not worrying too much about the future. That is your lesson here in this connection. Being present in the present moment. Um, and divine timing is at play here. I'm getting as well with that world. Things aren't coming to that successful completion. Perhaps no one's willing to walk through this door, this opportunity because a lack of trust, at least on this person's part, and perhaps it's both of you. But everyone's situation is different. For the outcome, we have Mercury, Communication, Eighth House, Intimacy, Numinous, Mystery, Page of Wands, Five of Swords, Ace of Swords, King of Wands. If there was cheating or a third party here, I see that coming out um, here in the outcome with the Ace of Swords. There's a lot of mind games here as well. So in the outcome with Numinous Mystery, a lot of it is unknown, but what I am getting is there will be communication and there will be clarity because Five of Swords can be quite confusion, confusing, puzzling, um, because one person is playing mind games uh, with the other. But I see perhaps you, Aquarius, if you're in the right here. Whoever, I'm not sure who's who. It could be Aquarius. If this is a third party, that Aquarius put Cross Watcher in the third party or vice versa, whatever it is, um, this will come out in the outcome. Now, the attraction will remain, but again, King of Wands, Page of Wands. It's quite flirty energy, mostly sexual chemistry is, is what is coming through. There is a need to communicate to really, a lot of this is also due to this confusion, this hurt is due to a lack of clarity. So if this is in a third party or there's nothing too crazy going on, um, it's, it's almost just saying take that sword and cut through this confusion. With Mercury, Page of Wands, Ace of Swords, there needs to be stronger communication here. And there shouldn't be much. Sometimes when there's a lack of communication, it can build um, a room for mistrust. And, you know, you can make up scenarios in your head, in your mind. Something you need to know in regards to the situation, we have uh, nothing will come of the situation and take time to breathe out. So this person's going through transformation, so it's almost telling you to take your doomed, but do um, listen to your intuition. If, if you feel that this is over, then that's what it's talking about. But it could also be talking about this. If you're having a lot of doubts or negative self-talk, it could be that, you know, that fear is in your mind and nothing will come of it so try to keep a more positive outlook here and then for your love cards these are both trouble we have problem and problem well we have problem problem heartbreak 
So yeah, there's heartbreak between you and that's the mutual energy between you both. There could be separation, a breakup, or just if it's a third party, both parties are feeling um, quite hurt over this. For your advice, Aquarius, we have castles in the sky. Well thought out planning is needed for a new idea or creative project to succeed. Don't skip any details. Research information and facts carefully. So it's almost telling you to be a bit of a detective or page of swords. And if you feel something's amiss here or off about this person, really do quiet that mind and listen to your intuition. We have three messages from this person. So we have, I'm going to show off my greatest assets and reveal the best side of me to impress you yeah <laughs> with queen of pentacles king of pentacles assets um this could be a taurus a capricorn virgo but this really fits well with that businessman business woman um energy they have going but yes they could try to show off and impress you here or that's their intention and then we have i'm going to pop in and out of your life whenever i please so that could be a bit of a on again, off again connection. And then we have, I'm going to find out what you've been hiding from me. I need to know before I completely trust this connection. Yeah, with nine of wands, that's perhaps you both. Um, as I was saying earlier, there's a lack of trust on both of your sides. And that is something you need to uh, work through or some of it could be um due to this person's actions perhaps if they're holding back hiding things that is where that lack of trust is stemming from but that is what i have for you aquarius hopefully this was helpful uh, do take care of yourself and i'll see you later bye